Really, man, I'm a, I'm a Michael Jordan fan, you feel me? And um, like I wear Jordans every day. I don't think y'all understand, but the whole buying Jordan thing is like a, it's like a whole culture. It's like a whole like new, it's like a, it's like a movement. You know what I'm saying? Like a whole nother world. Like people spend thousands of dollars on Jordans. It was really organic, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I knew I knew I wanted a female, and uh, she was the first female I asked. I wanted it to be a rap track, and I wanted it to be a pop chick on her magnitude doing it, you know what I'm saying? I wanted it to be something different. Me, Juicy, and Weirs were actually working on something else. We were actually working on the smoking track that's on Juicy J's album right now, um, Stay Trippy. And then I had 23, and I was like, yo, what y'all think about this? And they heard it, and then they were like, yo, I like it. And I was like, man, I'm working with Miley tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? I'm thinking about putting her on there if she likes it. And then um, they're like, all right, cool. So they hopped on it. It was me, Wiz, and Juicy the first day. And then the next day, it was me and Miley. And I was, I kind of gave a I was like, yo, man, can you really pull it off, though? You know what I'm saying? And then she pulled it off. She killed it. So, you know, everything, everything came out right. We shot it in Brooklyn um, a couple weeks back. You know what I'm saying? It was like a pet rally. And I, I kind of take over the school. And I, I feel like I represent for like the young, you know what I'm saying, the youth, like the, you know what I'm saying, I'm 24, so anybody like around that age, like, you know what I'm saying, late 80, late 80 baby, early 90 babies, you know what I'm saying, like, I feel like I represent for them, you know. I came through with the sound, and everybody got turned up, and you know, they're just feeling the sound right now. <laughs> 